Good evening YouTube. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. It's been a long time. Um, I'm just watching the news as we all are and uh, this came up and it seems somewhat ominous when you consider the the state of the union at this specific point in time and, and the real-time warfare we got going on over in uh, Egypt right now and the Muslim Brotherhood uh, bear with me for a second please report nuclear facilities vulnerable to a terrorist attack uh, civilian nuclear reactors do not have adequate defenses against potential attacks and of course we've heard this before this I mean this isn't anything new this isn't an epiphany of any sort but I thought it strange that I seen it come up on Twitter tonight um, and the article is posted August 15 305 p.m. so here we go over a decade after September 11th attacks, U.S. nuclear facilities remain vulnerable to a similar scale terrorist attack that could be orders of a magnitude greater than the Fukushima nuclear disaster in terms of human and economic destruction. According to a new report released Thursday, today, by the University of Texas Nuclear Proliferation Prevention Project. More than 10 years have come and gone since the event of September 2001 and American civilian nuclear facilities remain unprotected against a terrorist attack of that scale, reports co-author Professor Alan J. Cooperman. Uh, instead, our civilian reactors prepare only against much smaller scale attack known as the design basis threat. And uh, while the government fails to provide supplementary protection against a realistic 911, so there they, uh, you know, they're crying about supplementary protection money, and we know the sequestration and our defenses are down, our pants are down right now. So uh, against a realistic 911 type attack, it would be a tragedy if the United States have to look back after such an attack on a nuclear reactor and says that we could and should have done more to prevent the catastrophe, he added. The report found three civilian research reactors that have security weaknesses contain weapons-grade uranium, including one reactor just miles from the U.S. Capitol. While Pentagon and Department of Energy nuclear facilities are protected against a 911 scale attack, the report determined that none of the country's 104 commercial nuclear power reactors has adequate defenses. <laughs> 104 of them with their pants down. It also found that new facilities are required to protect against air attack, but older ones are not. They're not even required. Additionally, numerous U.S. F nuclear facilities accessible by sea, which reminds me of that gentleman in a shoot uh, gentleman. Uh, some dude in a shooting uh, from a, a boat off of uh, the shores of what nuclear plant? I forget. Maybe one of you do remember. But uh, additionally, new, numerous facilities accessible by sea, including the ones in New York, California, and Florida, do not have safeguards against shipborne attacks, according to the study. These nuclear reactors are naked against, as I use the euphemism, pants down, uh, naked against the maximum credible terrorist attack, Cooperman said in a conference call with reporters on Thursday. And we know that that sort of attack could induce a meltdown. We're talking something like Fukushima here on the old homeland. Uh, the U.S. government has upgraded its protections of nuclear facilities since the 01 attacks, according to researchers. But the U.S. Nuke Regulatory Commission has been unable to provide nuclear facilities with adequate security, and the U.S. government has not stepped up to address these vulnerabilities. We commend the upgrades, but our concern is that they're not enough, says Cooperman. It's the responsibility of the U.S. government to come in and fill that gap, he added, and that problem isn't occurring. And the problem is that it isn't occurring. So here almost seems a, a, a prelude of uh, accusation and blame placing, and I thought that bared repeating. God bless you all. Take care, stay safe, and stay smart. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video.
video and and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.